Okay, so we're going to be replacing the ball joint on the control arm on a 2000 Grand Prix. This is the same for like the 97 to 03s um, for Monte Carlos, Buick Regals. They're all pretty well the same. So this is a three quarter socket. Let's take the wheel off first. So this is what we're replacing here, and it looks like this one's a factory one still. So these are just rivets on here, holding it on. So that could be a challenge. You just got to grind those off. This side's not too bad. There's no grease or anything left in there. The other side's quite a bit worse though. So I just turned the wheel to get access to this a little bit better, so I'm going to pop that cotter pin out and take out this nut, and we'll see what happens. Probably also going to have to undo this end link over here, which is holding the sway bar to the control arm, just so we can drop the sway bar, or drop the control arm, I should say. Um, to get that ball joint out and then also have to undo the ABS connector which is right here okay so next I'm going to remove the control arm just gonna have to take out all these little clips here that are holding the sensor wire in. Disconnect the sensor here. Uh, do this bolt, this one here, and that on the other end. And hopefully that'll go easy. Bottom side here is the Torx. And once we have that, we should be able to drop the control arm and then uh, get this ball joint out. Okay, so I got this bolt out, it's a T55, and this was a 2021, 20, I think. It's 21 over here, 21 on this side, and 18 on this side. So I've got all this unclipped. I'm uh, just gonna have to get something to pop that uh, little clip out. You can see this is already separated nuts off and uh, that should just fall right out and we can get started on these rivets here. So as you can see I got these drilled out and basically you just have to drill down the depth of this like I did here same on the other side and then you can just uh, when it's in there just bang with a hammer here or over on this side and just kind of work its way out these two I had to open up a little bit um, I think these were 7 16 so I had to open that up to half because the new bolts are half. 
and they wouldn't fit in the 17 7 16th hole obviously so I just did that I'm gonna slide the new one in tighten everything down and uh, just shoot some just a coat of paint over this just so it doesn't rust up any more than it already is and then we'll be able to put everything back together That's where I kind of get these back in. Get this one in first, just the one up here. Um, then get this guy in. And uh, put that bolt through, just hold it in place. And then get this thing in as far as you can go. Put the nut on the top, just hold it in place. This one can be a little tricky because it never lines up with this hole, so just like pivot in here. You kind of got to play with that, and then generally just like hammer. So, let's try this now. This I kind of come in just on an angle. Okay, so I've jacked this up to um, where the ride height would be fairly close. And then you can go ahead when you do that, torque that guy and this guy here. And I've also reinstalled the stabilizer link. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Uh, while you're in here, you have to go check your tie rods, tie rod ends. Uh, these ones are new. I haven't. Uh, I've done these just recently. Um, grease them up while you're here if they need it. Also check that bushing, make sure everything's good. That's a poly bushing from Moog. They're pretty good ones. Uh, replace those rubber ones that it came with with the poly ones and they, uh, they definitely help. Same thing with the end link, double check that. You can do a brake inspection and anything else that looks out of ordinary. So before you're done, you just want to fill up the ball joint with grease. You can see the nipple on there, I've showed it to you before. So basically just grease that up and then you're all done. Put your wheel back on and you can lower the car. 
for the hassle involved in getting the old ball joints out. If I did this again, I would just buy new control arms. I think they're around 40 bucks. And, uh, you know, save me a couple hours. You could probably get this done, you know, now seeing it, I would say 30 to 40 minutes. You could get this done if you just replace the control arm. So, otherwise, you're looking at uh, probably took me about four hours to complete this. One other thing. how rusted out this oil pan is and I mean it's you can see it's almost moving well it is moving you know so I mean that's gonna be need to be replaced and that's not a good not a fun job because I don't know if you can see under here the oil pan bolts are inaccessible because of that motor mount so you have to support the motor from the top and um, basically remove that mount to access those bolts. So I'm going to have to do that, so you'll probably see a video on that shortly.